Hi there, Alan Stevens, International Profiling and Communication Specialist. Now in this course, you're going to learn how to build instant rapport with people. And why is instant rapport really important? Simply because if you aren't able to build rapport with people, build trust and a relationship, they don't want to do business with you. They'll find somebody else. Liken it to a house. You put a concrete slab on the ground and you build a construction on top of it. Now, if that slab does not have strong footing to go down into the ground to anchor it, movements in the ground, the, uh, the actual slab will uh, crack. Now, to be able to build instant rapport with somebody, we need to be able to understand how they take information in, then how they process that information and how they are likely to respond and behave in any given situation. Communicating with them in this way is far more effective when we're able to understand those uh, points. It allows us to improve our relationships in our business dealings, in our business growth, and in every area of our lives. Then we need to be able to understand the expressions on their face to know whether they're happy or sad. So if it is somebody that we shouldn't be around and they've got that angry look on their face, we have even more reason not to be around them. So we all do this. This is part of our survival. It's part of our DNA. It's been wired into us. And we react this way. The thing is, young children can pick this up immediately. They can always understand uh, adults' emotions. Ask yourself, your youngest children, how close do they push you to the edge, but they don't push you over the edge? Because they understand your emotions. As we get older, though, it's just like any other muscle that we don't uh, exercise. It atrophies. So this particular skill, what I'm taking you through now, is something you knew very well when you were a young child, but we're giving a new scientific understanding to it, and in the process, turning it into an art form that you can use. Now, when you look at these three faces, which one to you looks the least competent? A, B, or C? If you need to stop the video, do that, and then just write down which one you think. Well, where to next? You got the presentation ready? And away you go. Obviously, the next point is that you're looking at uh, bringing that person on as a, a prospective client. So you want to be able to speak to them in the right way. You've organised already to understand them and know how they like to be spoken to, but you also need to understand how they like to buy. 